What's going on guys? Kales here bringing you another video and today we have got the first episode of my Angry Guys series. Oh yes, this is going to be great because today we're going to be going through some classes, the specialists and the score streaks. I did this series about a while ago but it was now kind of irrelevant considering the rules hadn't been placed then. So we're going to be going over the class setups you should most likely be using, the specialist that is, you know, should be advised and of course your streaks. So. We'll start off with the classes first. If you're an anchor, the most likely weapon you're going to be using is an AR. Uh, specifically, perhaps an XR2, the MAA7, or the Man of War. These classes are completely down to you. If you feel you're a lot better with the M8 than you are with the Man of War, then go ahead and use the M8. I personally use the M8. Now, it depends on what map you are using. Now, if you're kind of an AR Anchor slash Slayer, what I'd advise is putting on this class. This is an ELO site with Quick Draw, Stock, and Long Barrel. This is the kind of class that you can sort of get in their people's faces really quickly and still pick up the kills, even if they are using a subclass. Alternatively, if you're a far more defensive player, then perhaps you'd rather go with something like this. It's an uh, ELO site with Grip, st uh, Stock, and Long Barrel. It's instead of like using quick draw so that, you know, you're going to be a long range so quick draw is really not going to have much of an effect because you're not going to snap on to people. You're going to be taking out people one by one rather than chaining kills together. But of course, it also depends on the map range. So you could be at, you know, you could be on fringe and one player could be on barn and you're top grandmas. So you might want to use this class. This is a reflex, grip, stock and long barrel. Three different classes for three different situations. I usually have all three classes on because... You know, you, you never know what situation is you're going to end up being faced with. Of course, you could take these classes and put them into, say, the X or 2. So you could do any of these. You could do long range or quick draw or grip. And alternatively, you could just use the Man of War. You know, you could just do exactly the same thing. Grip, stock, and, for example, long barrel with a reflex set on. You know, that's the kind of classes that you kind of be going for. And that's the kind of classes that you should sort of be sticking with. Um, but just keep in mind that... As an anchor, you are to hold the spawns. You don't have to get the spawns. So if you're like building a slaying type of class, you shouldn't really have that on. So which brings us to the next thing. So let's just, for example, say you want to use quite a long range, but not too long range. You want to have your grip on. What I then advise is leaving your secondary. Now, this all depends on which class you pick for this one. So if you went for like a quick draw kind of class, then perhaps you'd uh, be better off putting off like a pistol or something. Because, you know, up, uh, if you're using a pistol, then being in their face is, you know, quite a quite an important thing. And, you know, the RK5 will give you that advantage. But let's just take an example that you want to use your grip on your class. Leave your secondary. You don't need it because you're not going to be using the RK5 at any kind of ranges. You're just going to be sticking with your MA or picking up a sub. I then advise putting on no lethals and putting on tacticals. I usually use trophy system. Trophy systems are probably the most important thing because of course a lot of people are going to be throwing nades over, stuns over, you know, trying to get you off the anchor so that they can get the spawns. Trophy systems will prevent that and it will just make your life just a hell of a lot easier. We then move on to perk 1. Now you have a couple of things you could choose here. Now if you, for example, didn't want to use trophy system and want to use, I don't know, a Semtex or concussion grenade then perhaps you might want to put on flax jacket if you don't have on trophy system because of course if they're throwing nades you really need to be surviving from them um i personally use afterburner you could also use overclock but we'll get onto that in a little bit so if you want to use that then you can do um i personally use trophy system with an afterburner for two fast hands probably the most obvious um there's nothing nothing really here that you can know that outweighs it. Obviously, fast hands and quick draw is quite a, an important thing. But if you know if you don't have quick draw, you really need to have one or the other, quick draw or fast hands or both, preferably. I use no quick draw, particularly on this class, and use fast hands. Perk three, blast suppressor. People don't. You don't want people to know that you're rotating. Granted, the blast suppressor, a you know, it's not as effective as it was in um in advanced warfare. But you know, the blast suppressor is still a very useful perk. You know, you could use tactical mask if you're not using trophy system. Um. But that's pretty much it. Blast suppressor, attack mask, you know, either one of them. And this is the kind of class that I'd be going for quite a long range type thing. But if you want to be in their face, you know, I understand there's some players who, you know, don't want to sit in the back of the map. People want to use an AR and sort of push up a bit. But still hold the spawns. Then I'd advise sort of like something like this class. You know, taking off the quick draw and put on, on afterburner, uh, fast hands and blast suppressor. You know, that extra RK5 and the quick draw on your 
uh, and it, you know, that can prove to be quite a valuable item to use. Um, obviously, the RK-5 is a very powerful pistol. You could alternatively go for something like um, the Alcar. You know, the Alcar is a very powerful weapon. I don't know what, what it's like after it's been patched. I don't know what it's like, but I hear it is still a pretty good weapon. Um, so, pretty much that's the only classes you really need. Obviously, you want to have your, you know, a subclass, just in case some things do get a little bit out of hand. Um, because, of course, sometimes your team isn't able to get the spawns, and you're going to have to play for them. So, if you're going to do that, that's the kind of class I would most likely put, uh, put on. If your team is struggling, and you're, you know, you need to get the spawns, that's the kind of class I'd put on. No long barrel, you know, you're going to be in their face, so long barrel's really not going to have much of an effect. But apart from that, there's not really much else to use. But obviously, as an anchor, you're kind of stuck in the AR kind of role. So these are good for like hard point and stuff like that. And, you know, that's that class particularly is very good for like uplink and CTF. But what is search and destroy? Some people kind of get confused in search and destroy. Your AR anchor doesn't have to use the sniper, but it is advised because, of course, the anchor is going to be a defensive-minded player. So the sniper is um, proves to be a lot more effective. So personally. For a sniper, I use this kind of class. I'll use quick draw, and then I'll pop on afterburner, fast hands, blast suppressor, and then tacticals. You know, I can I sometimes use trophy systems if they're throwing a bunch of stuff over, or I can use a concussion, or I can use a semtech. Lethal and tacticals completely dependent on the map, but I use stock and FMJ and thermal on my class. In fact, sometimes I'll actually put on uh, smoke screen because that can sometimes help your team. So if you are using a sniper as an anchor, you know that's the kind of class that I'd go for. But that's the kind of classes that you're looking at in terms of like search and destroy, hardpoint, CTF, and uplink. Because that's, those are the class, those are the classes right here are the classes that you're going to be using majoritively. That's the kind of classes that you know you want to really stick with. Because the rest of your team, of course, is going to be holding down you know in the hell and stuff like that. And they're going to be using different classes. But I don't. I'm not that kind of player. I'm not the objective player or the sub slayer. So if you want to go check out videos on you know a sub. Well, that was incredibly annoying because uh, my screen recorder crashed and I do not when do not know when it died. So I'm gonna assume that I covered all the classes and all the stuff like that. You know, I was just explaining things, pretty much obvious stuff. So we move on to the specialist. Now, specialist is a little bit of a different kind of one because you could use the scythe. Now, I use the scythe pretty much religiously. You know, the scythe is probably the best, um, in my opinion, for in terms of things like. I don't know, anchoring and stuff like that, the scythe is very good because of course you can easily break spawns and if your team needs support, the scythe is always there to help you. However, of course, some people might ban the scythe or another teammate might take it. So, I think the Tempest is probably the best um, substitute for the scythe. The Tempest is very powerful, of course, if you hit that one shot and it connects and you know, that's a, that's a free two-piece right there from one shot. Um, but apart from that, there's really not much else you could use that would sort of benefit you. Obviously, in Search and Destroy, you know, you're really not going to be getting the Scythe or the Tempest for that matter. So, in terms of Search and Destroy, I personally use Psychosis. Some people prefer to use Active Camo if it's allowed. Some people like to use Kinetic Armor or Glitch. You know, it does. it's not really classed or role dependent on what specialist you use. But, in terms of Search and Destroy, I always use the Psychosis. I find I can use it the most effective with it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of, like, Heat Wave and stuff like that because I'm not very good with it. But, usually, I'll pretty much pick the Reaper almost 10, 9, 9, 9.9 times out of 10, because that's just, you know, what I use, that's what I'm good with. So we then move on to score streaks. Now score streaks, people are going to be like, well, score streaks, and you can just put on whatever. But what you have to understand is that your score streak is supposed to help both you and your team. So a lot of people sort of put on this kind of class, but in my opinion, that's not the best class. I much prefer putting on a hardened sentry. It's very easy to hold the spawns because the hardened sentry acts as a player. So the hardened sentry is very, very powerful. And of course, if you're say on like a map on stronghold, if you pop that sentry cut out, you know they're going to be holding top mansion and fireplace at the same time. All you have to do is watch his back and put up trophies down. Easy. Hardened sentry is done and dusted. And apart from that, that's pretty much all you really need to do. Uh, you could also uh, go over to your controls and look at your sensitivity. I have mine at 5.5, which is just the default. Some people like to use it at 3. I find that kind of too low. Sometimes I'll switch it to 4, depending on the map. So if it's a really long-range map, then I'll switch it to 4 and then switch it back to 5. You know, it just depends on the map. But apart from that, that's pretty much that's pretty much the classes. 
So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to press the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because, of course, I'm going to have a lot more videos on your know, anchor spot and how to play the anchor both as an anchor player and a teammate of an anchor. And uh, yeah, that's everything from me. My name is Mr. Kim 2 and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.